Right, we're going to be checking out a little machinist level I picked up. It's an EDA, made in France. Uh, metric system, obviously, since it's from France. The accuracy of this level is uh, 0 0.02 millimeters. And that equates to about 8 tenths. Uh, and that's per uh, graduation on the level vial. So what we're going to do now is we're going to check it for accuracy. So in any given plane there's two points that are perfectly level. So I don't know how clear that is. I'm just showing you it's on a surface plate. And right now we're showing we're within one one uh, one thousandths of an inch, right? Eight tenths, one thousandths per graduation. So we're uh, we're right about there. Now we might just call it touching on the one side, and then see if that repeats. pretty close but I don't think my uh, my backstop there is heavy enough for it. I'm going to call it uh, good enough anyways because we're within a tenth, two tenths, three tenths. I'm not measuring anything right now. I'm just checking out this uh, this level I picked up. Pretty nice. Comes with a nice wooden carrying case. Here it's saying actually it's within uh, two tenths over 10 inches so if you're measuring a larger item okay so we all recognize the red box stare it a box within a box Move that around Uh, machinist level for doing bigger jobs okay stare it nice knurled protected vial the the opposite uh, parallel or perpendicular vial. And this one here, I bet you, is probably not as accurate. It's going over a larger area. So it'll be a little easier to get the graduations uh, set up. Alright, so it's the Starrett. Number 98Z, 18 inch uh, machinist level. The vial's accuracy is uh, 5,000 per foot or uh, 0.42 millimeters per meter. So over a foot each graduation is going to be uh, 5 thousandths of an inch. So uh, 18 inches, 450 millimeters in length. So it's nice for setting up machinery and stuff like that. It's not as sensitive as the other, the other uh, level because we're going over the larger distance. So it's easier to get those uh, finer adjustments. I don't know if you can see that indicator. It's an intrepid uh, five ten thousandths of an inch per line. And one thousandths off there.
think I'll extend it out on the arm. Alright, we have to turn this uh, brass stock down to 12 mil. We're going to shoot for uh, 0.5. Looks like it cleans up the center nicely. So we're just going to take a nice cleanup cut and get some rough measurements. center drill in it to uh, put a live center in, we'll turn it down and we'll knurl it. Okay, we still have a couple little uh, areas to clean up for our OD. But it doesn't matter. We're at uh, 734 thousandths. I'm going to go down to 500 thousandths. Uh, so that we're going to be taking off 234 thousandths. So about a quarter inch of material. <coughs> One eighth per side. And uh, we're going to take three rough cuts at 60 thousandths each. And then we'll take a measurement there. Bring us closer to our final. And we'll touch off. in our 60 thousandths.
on that. Okay, we got uh, 0.57, so about 70 thousandths to take off. Okay, we're going to put a cross hatch knurl on there. Set up our knurler so it's on dead center so both the uh, knurling cutters will engage at the same time. Okay, let's uh, put a light knurl in there and see how she looks. oil on there. Uh, looks pretty good. Cut. Okay, we're going to be marking off our um, length. And we've added the width of the blade, which is 95 uh, thousandths. So we're going back about 682 thousandths. Leave tooth out to clean up uh, any operations that need to be cleaned up. I got my indicator uh, up against my apron and I'm going to go in uh, 682 thousandths. Okay, we lock the apron or snug it up so there's less movement. Okay, we'll come in and mark our second piece. Now I'll do a through bore. 